Hi everyone, I'm Johan. Today I'm going to talk about the Palantir Software Engineer interview process. At the end of this video, you should have a good understanding of the process itself, what interviewers look at, and a bunch of tips for each round. Quick intro, I'm from Prepfully. This video has been put together by Palantir Software Engineers who are also interview coaches on Prepfully. They've coached hundreds of candidates successfully and are available on the website for direct booking if you're looking for more personalized guidance. Right then, moving on to the interview. There are three main rounds to the Palantir software engineering interview process. First, the phone interview. Second, the technical screen, which includes the carrot online assessment. Third, the on-site interview. Let's look at each round closely, starting with the phone interview. This one is a 30 minute initial screening that typically includes a general discussion about your background, professional journey, and your motivations to join Palantir. Three quick tips for this round. Be prepared for the tell me about yourself prompt, since this is how nearly every interview usually begins. Have a crisp, concise, and memorable overview of yourself ready that makes you stand out. Second, provide a clear reason for why you're applying for the role, as well as why you think it's the right for your professional goals. Lastly, think ahead and narrow down specific anecdotes and concrete points you'd like to discuss. Basically, to give an insight into what your contribution was in your previous jobs, the impact you created, and what you learned, etc. Also, don't forget to ask the recruiter about the potential position you will fill if accepted, or what the upcoming interview process will be like so there are no unwanted surprises later on. Let's move on to the second round, the technical screen, which is split into two parts. The first will be a resume review, and the second, a coding assessment conducted by Carrot, which is a third-party company. The first segment is pretty straightforward. You are asked questions from your resume about your past projects and experience, which are followed by more questions based on your answers. The second segment, on the other hand, starts with a brief self-introduction by one of Carrot's engineers, and then the one-hour live coding assessment begins. There are three progressive coding problems asked, usually easy, medium LC questions, and you are on a tight deadline. It usually follows a pair programming format where you solve three progressive coding problems while collaborating with the interviewer. For both of these segments, practice is key. From jotting down past experiences, preparing follow-up questions, or practicing pair programming, there's a lot of ground you need to cover. You need not worry much about the specific question itself. It is typically related to back-end systems, UX design, or coding problems you'd find on HackerRank or LeetCode. What's important is that you demonstrate quick and effective problem-solving skills and an ability to work collaboratively to find the solution. We'd recommend practicing with a mock interviewer to get familiar with the turns this interview can take and glean feedback on how well you tackle the curveballs thrown at you. You can book some time with Palantir Software Engineers on Prepfully, if you so decide. Links in the description. Right then, the next round is the on-site round, which consists of three technical rounds, two of which are based on system design and data structures and algorithms, and one a behavioral interview with someone from the HR team. Here's a brief on each of these rounds. First, during the system design interview, you'll be asked to design and explain the architecture of a complex system. Something like, how would you build a recipe app or recommendation system for a movie streaming service? Or a similar problem. So it would be helpful to practice such problems well. Make sure you touch upon factors like data storage, data privacy, fault tolerance, scalability, etc. when designing your system. Clearly communicate your design, choices, trade-offs, and collaborate with your interviewers throughout. Next, in the data structures and algorithms interview, you'll be asked to solve coding challenges, which are typically leak code, easy, medium questions. There will be progressive questions throughout, so be prepared to think on your feet and show off your problem-solving skills. We recommend spending five to 10 minutes discussing and understanding the problem before jumping to the code. Finally, there's the behavioral interview, where you'll be asked questions about your experiences, communication skills, ability to work collaboratively with others, etc. So be prepared to talk about your projects and experiences, your motivations for wanting to join the company, and what you bring to the table. It's best to practice answering behavioral questions under simulated interview conditions to get familiar with the ins and outs of this interview. Prepfully has a bunch of Palantir software engineers with a ton of experience who can coach you in this regard. Right, that's all from us. Lots of additional helpful resources in the description. Don't forget to check them out. 
If you found the video helpful, do like and subscribe. Thanks and good luck. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, please subscribe. Our website is prepfully.com. We've got lots of interview questions there. You can also schedule a mock interview with one of our experts. You can find the link in the description below. All the best from us at Prepfully, and we hope you totally rock your interview.